that's the Wood Street. That's the town, and we got the other one, the place that we're in Germany, and it's scary, it's a big house. Right, and they, right. they own a tremendous amount of land, including the place of Calorie, Valkyrie, and Nelson Harvey got going. Okay. So, and it's a forgotten chapter in history, and one that I, I, I think has to be explained. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, the one thing that they're famous for was in, in looking at scriptures and coming up with the idea of the rapture. And let's say that is rather big all through the southern states. So probably the, the biggest thing of all, it has been very influential that way. Right, right. And were you trying to get hold of, uh, of some version of the, the, the Bible? No, I just I did some a little bit of research online about the, about the, the Schofield Bible. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think that, that was, uh, to correct me if I'm wrong, that's, that's, that, that was their Bible, the Schofield Bible, which is kind of. To the best of my memory, uh, the King James was the Bible that. Uh, that you. I, mean, I, I, have a, I have a Bible there that my yeah. parents gave me. My birthday uh. in 1973. Uh. This is the uh, King James, Cambridge. Appointed to be raised in churches. Huh? As appointed to be raised in churches. Yeah. Is it? Cambridge, as I said, the King James, but the Cambridge Bible maps, yeah. Mm. But, uh. Don't worry. Yeah, okay, anyway. <coughs> the, uh. Right, the wheels we have, have here, first 24, the wheels are fixed lease, and so, uh, and so you were there for about a year. There's a fixed lease right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and, um, the uh, Christmas dinner, 1978. Uh, Derek, uh, sorry, uh, Trevor told me a story the last time uh, that uh, at, at Christmas time um, in 1978, we were, uh, or you were, um, uh, uh, in the willows. That's right. My old man. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you that really quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, if you told us you already. But the, the, the old man had sacked all of us. Yeah. Uh, it was basically his Christmas presents to his kids. And um, he had sacked all of us, um, and we had literally nothing. We had no cash at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and Christmas was coming, and my brother was walking up Hill Street, mm -hmm. and there was some old guy walking down with two chickens in a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. So he bought the two chickens. I think they worked out to be old age pensioners. Mm -hmm. We, but they were alive. You know, we did, we had to kill the chickens out in the back garden, and that was going to be our Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. And we roasted them for the usual one and a half hours or two hours or whatever it was, and yeah. they were like leather. Yeah. We roasted them for another couple of hours. <laughs> and I mean, it was literally like he tried to, tried to eat an old boot. Yeah. But we were trying to break their neck, and we tied a bit of string around their head at one point in time, and we chucked, and nothing happened. Well, it was, it was pulled, pulled harder, and, and the, the head flew off. And um, but anyway, we managed to kill the two chickens got them, plucked them, roast them, and they were unedible. <laughs> but there was a very beautiful girl that lived next door that was married to an older man. And um, I think she must have been looking at her window and seen us killing the chickens. Mm -hmm. um, and I think she knocked over to see how we were getting on and told her, why well, these two chickens, unfortunately, they're not edible. Mm -hmm. So she brought us over uh, at Christmas dinner. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. So and Clyde, I, I told that the version he said. Remember, Clyde had a had had a, 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 a bric-a-brac collection, military bric-a-brac. And one of, one thing he had in his, in his collection was a German serrated bayonet. And I remember breaking sticks with him outside. He was using that, and I was just watching him. And he said if, if one thing about the Allies: if they ever discovered German soldiers during the front on in the Second World War, they found such a thing, they dispatched them right away without. Due process, bang, gone. So, no, that's just something I do. You don't have any record of the bayonet. No, bayonet. but I, I do uh, remember the bayonet. But yeah. he, I mean, Clive would have had a huge collection of weaponry. Yeah. And he was always fascinated by weapons, and he still is. I mean, he, from 
you know, gas powered or air powered um, uh, yokes they shoot fish with under the water. What do you call them? Harpoons. Harpoon guns to all sorts of stuff. Um, Clyde was a big weapon, wasn't it? Big weapon. Right, weapon. Okay, Clyde, uh, brick and brack, well that's covered. Okay, so, uh, the, Sh the Shalom um, Bible group, did, did, you, did you attend meetings? I know I was invited to them, I never actually went. Well, actually, <coughs> that whole thing started with myself and a couple of the boys in mm -hmm. McDonald's in Grafton Street. Mm -hmm. And there was this argument going on, a um, very loud, heated argument, and one of the guys was getting incredibly aggressive. And he seemed to be very anti-Christianity, but yet kept quoting the Bible. Mm -hmm. And as the guy that he was screaming at was walking past us, I had already come to the conclusion that he was a believer. Mm -hmm. um, and I called him over to the table. And his name was Dennis Sheedy. Mm -hmm. And that is how... It was from that that the whole Shalom thing uh, happened. Yeah. I went to meetings for quite some time, but uh, ah, there was a couple of things that I sensed that I didn't like. They speaking in tones and various different things. Mm. So I got my ass out of there. I didn't like what was happening, and mm. the rest went on. Um, so yeah, the whole Shalom thing, I would have been out just before that happened, I think. Mm. I said, did they have meetings in the Willows? No, I don't think I think so. in that book, uh, that book that came out in the last... Oh, the earlier, yeah, yeah. okay. The, some of the earlier meetings would have been in the Willows. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. in that book, uh, the, the one that's out at the moment, a history of it, it's called, uh, you two, a history it mentioned that the Shalom meetings were in, in, in the Willows. Yeah, yeah. the early meetings, meetings, absolutely early meetings, meetings were in the meetings were in Willows. Yeah. But not had Bono's, but Bono had not seen his mother at the time, did he? Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. And what's he said to him Temple after that? Or I think that's what I said. Yeah, you know, it's hard, I mean, as you say, hard, a golden time, the hardest thing to need that are, are the facts and dates. Yeah, well, yeah. that's the style of this is they take from the, they, No, no, but you, you have to realise that that was, and it, it took a, a bit of strength of character mm. to, 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 to come back out at the time. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, then there's, then there's the uh, number 20, 28 is a visit from the guy to the Willows. Uh, from, you, you told me you were not going to be named, even if we had no, a I know, I, I, I'm very, uh, uh, Trevor said to me, he says, yeah, that's true, I remember that. And I can remember the actual guy that came around to the Willows. Oh, all oh, right, right. And then he went off. But Tell me, what's the first <laughs> <laughs> uh, You were telling me this story uh, about um, the one time, uh, which the guy from the Plymouth Brethren, I mean, I never heard of the Plymouth Brethren at the time. Uh, it was yeah, the Christian brother. Yeah, Christian brother. Okay. Well, uh, a guy came around. Uh, you told me this guy came around uh, and he had heard something on the grapevine about buildings on the house of the Willow, or this house of the Willows. And, uh, he, and he was from the church. Was yeah, he was from the congregation. Okay. The, 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 the father might have, might have tipped him off or something. So he just knocked on the door. You let him in and uh, he said, oh, Yeah, I'm, I'm Derek. Yeah, I'm Derek. Well, and, yeah, and, uh, such a, and he said to me, uh, I understand there's some, um, there's been um, going on in the house or something, and you try to do your best to keep a straight face. And, and <laughs> I said, oh no, everything's wonderful. <laughs> and then what, your old cars appear from upstairs or what? Uh, you said that uh, a, a, a certain, uh, your brother had, had to be entertaining one of his girlfriends upstairs in, in the bedroom over the over the port, over the front door. Oh, dear. And, 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 right. and, and, and the was like cycle. <laughs> And, uh, yes, yeah. I think I have uh, vague memories of that one, okay. But yeah. you're doing your best to, to say that, oh no, everything's the next thing was laughing and tittering and giggling oh, and stuff upstairs. And, 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 and bed springs are going, do you, do you, you know what? The geezer probably wouldn't have even known what that was. Yeah. If you stay 
the guy I'm thinking of. Was, he's the guy I'm thinking of. How, yeah. how many, how many elders like that with the church you've had in Dublin? You know, back in the day when I was a kid, I suppose quite a few. Um, yeah, I suppose quite a few. I mean, there would have been a few main men that ran the, the you know, operation and so on. But uh, and a lot of great, great people. I've got to say, I mean, a lot of those people, you know, were absolutely wonderful. Um, but I suppose our impression of it would have been very affected by our dad. Mm -hmm. Most of them would not have been like at all, but some of them, you know, mm -hmm. I suppose they would have been all strict, but maybe not all of them would have been violent. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't imagine any of them were, but, but I don't know. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. Um. So, so we'll spare the rod and spoil the child. Oh yeah, absolutely, and that might be true, but only to a point. Right. Uh, mention, uh, I mean, 